Okay, here we are. You are in my kitchen. And we're going to call today Kitchen Table Talk. Because at the end of the tour of my studio, I usually bring people in here and say, would you like to have something to drink? So grab a cup of coffee, because I'm going to grab the cup of coffee as if you were here. And we're going to have some Kitchen Table Talk. This is number 10 of my 10-part series. And um, what I want you to do is to see the face that's behind that voice in all the videos. So here it is. You probably won't see me very often, or maybe you will if this works out. Al, who is just as important to this whole project as I am, is the one who's pushed the button on the camera so that I could talk to you. And what am I using? I'm using my little power shot, wonderful little camera, and we're doing this video. So let's talk about um, some of the things about the tour. What did you think of it? What did you get out of it? And what would you like to have that I didn't cover? I'd really like to know because it's been the first project of many projects that I want to do on the website. So uh, what more would you want? Uh, uh, tell me. That form, you know, that form that's right over there, it's right there. Tell me, I'm as asking you to ask me questions or tell me things, and then I'll know what more you want. But today we'll talk a little bit because I had somebody here a couple days ago who said, oh, you've got to share this. And what I'm sharing is my history with my art career. So when did I start? You know I didn't know how to draw. And I started, I just figured it out. I was exactly 25 years old. And today I'm almost 75 years old. So I started 50 years ago. And for the seven years of that 50 years, I painted by number. Yep, obsessively painted by number because I couldn't draw. And so my favorite thing today, after going to art school and learning all that I learned about painting, color, my favorite thing is still to draw. And one of the things I'm thinking about is how much I've loved drawing from the model and how I love to share that with people. And I really haven't done very much of that. So if you look up there, there's a tab that says Originals. And you could see up there all of a series of drawings that I did using models with wonderful hats. I called the series Windows. And I really hope that you'll go through that tab and take a look at some of the original things that I've done. But now, what is my favorite thing to do today? Well, besides drawing from the model, one of my favorite things is drawing on my iPad. I love using this iPad. I love drawing, and I draw on it every day or every day that I can. So that's one of my favorite tools. My other favorite tool is the, I can't show it to you because it's doing this video, is that little SX. 210 power shot Canon camera that sits in my purse and I run around, take pictures of things that I love, and then I paint from them. So my plan for my next series, I'm going to tell you after I tell you about my favorite experience in my art career. In 1986, Al was working in Beijing, China. He was one of the first Americans to work in that country, and there were no, at that time, independent business people. Um, China didn't allow that then. And one of the things he did for me, because he had this open visa and was able to go all of the time, was he took me on a trip where he asked me not to embarrass him, not to get him in trouble, because he was on this special visa. And he took me to Beijing when Beijing was in its infancy of its growth. It certainly wasn't the Beijing that exists today. It had one American-type hotel that had just been built. It was the Sheraton, and we actually stayed there. But 
my thrill of the whole experience was uh, we went to what's called, let me look, I wrote a note about it. It was the China Fine Art Gallery and beautiful museum. We, and I went into the gift shop and there were some paintings that I loved and they were a little more modern than most of the paintings that you see out of China. And so I asked someone who spoke English, which was a rarity at that time, and asked someone to direct me to the master who painted that painting that I loved. She gave me a card and Al took me to the area. He knew of the area and the area was called Li Lu Li Cheng which means Portuguese tiles, and it's an area where all the artists kind of hung out and the buildings were all made with these Portuguese tiles. I walked in, I presented the card to a person who was at the front. There was only one person. She ran behind a curtain, came out with another lady. They bowed and bowed and bowed and then asked me how I knew their master. And I explained that I had seen the painting, and so they said, well, our master isn't here, but his disciple is, and they would love for me to meet his disciple. And so they invited me in, sat me down, and out came this 18, 19-year-old young man who was so excited. I can still, at this moment, see the expression on his face when he walked through a different curtain to come and meet me. And he asked if he could have tea with me, and then, this is all through an interpreter, and then could he paint something for me. And he painted a wonderful horse painting using his Chinese ink and brush. And then I thought, I can't embarrass Al, but I would really like to reciprocate, so I quietly asked if I could do something to give to him. They gave, I asked for a piece of paper, they gave me a piece of rice paper, and I had a pencil. Well, not being Chinese, I didn't know rice paper and pencil do not work together. So I didn't know what to do, I was standing there, I didn't want to embarrass Al. So I noticed that there was a pot of ink that he had just used and that Chinese brush that he had just used and I asked with um, hand signals, could I use that? And I want you to know that I picked that brush up in my hand, I held the brush like this, I put my first brush stroke down and I was gone. I, I don't know where I went, I just know that Another aspect of me from another time long ago painted a portrait of this young man. And I was like the holder of the brush, but I don't know that I was the mover of the brush. And so I'm going to share with you the picture of me standing in China. Upside down. Oh, I got it upside down. There's Al, the director, told me it's upside down. And now I'm to turn it this way. So you could see, I will post a picture of it. There I am, Beijing, China, painting, gone, totally gone. Now I'm gonna, so you can see me again. I just had the best time. But I don't remember one thing of it until I got to the brush stroke that I wanted to make of the cowlick on the top of his head. I picked up that brush again I focused, I took a deep breath, and I made one gesture. That was my gesture. And then I heard the applause. It seems I attracted about 40 people who all watched me paint, and you can see some of them in the drawing. And I do have the picture. I'm going to put that down there. I have the picture of the portrait. I just found it, and I'm pretty excited that I actually found this picture photo so that I could show everybody that I stood in China and an aspect of me that I have never met again painted fluidly with a medium that I had never met before in this body. So that's probably my most happy, famous <laughs> moment of my art career. Sure, I've had shows that have sold out and I've got my work and 
collections all over the world, but that was that the moment that I shall always remember and cherish. So there it is. Now you know a little bit more about Jackie, my art career, my art moments, and the thing that I love to do and don't get enough opportunity to do is to teach, and people keep asking, are you gonna teach, are you gonna teach? So my plans for the next series of free, um, whatever we wanna call them, Free moments with Jackie, those moments are going to be about drawing. I'm going to do lots of experimental things. And what I'd like you to do is, if you're interested in signing up to be part of that um, group of experimental drawings for people who believe they can't, for people who know they can, for anybody who wants to have a little fun with drawing, then that form will be right down there. I want you to fill it in and uh, let me know that you're interested. I'd love to have you and let's um, make art together. How much fun would that be? So that's it. This is a wrap for the 10 week series of tours of my studio. As I do new things, I'll do tours of those new things as Al uh, create, helps me create more and more. We'll definitely share them with you. Thanks for being a part of this. I really cherish that. See you soon. Bye-bye.